This is a model of the Earth. The dark parts here, you see, are the, are the land. And all the rest, around here, over here, that's all sea. Really? I had no idea. The Earth is made up of four distinct layers. The inner core is in the centre and is the hottest part of the Earth. It's very, very hot. It's solid and made of iron and nickel. Surrounding it is the outer core, which is a liquid layer, also made of iron and nickel. It's still extremely hot. So hot, of course, you wouldn't want to get very near it. The mantle is the largest layer. It's made of semi-molten rock called magma. I bet you never thought that rock Solid rock could sometimes be all runny, did you? It's hard in the upper parts, but beginning to melt lower down. I wouldn't fancy paddling in it, would you? The crust is the outer layer of the Earth. It's a thin layer of solid rock on which we live. There are two different types of crust. Continental crust, which carries land, and oceanic crust, which carries water. These crusts are broken up into pieces called plates. Heat rising and falling inside the mantle creates convection currents which move the plates. This movement is called plate tectonics. I see, they would have once fitted together. Almost like a jigsaw puzzle, really. The point where two plates meet is called a plate boundary. This is where earthquakes and volcanoes are most likely to occur. At a constructive boundary, the plates move apart and magma rises from the mantle. It's called a constructive margin because new material is being added to the sea floor there. When it reaches the surface, it cools and solidifies to form a new crust. Eventually, the new rock builds up to form a volcano. Constructive boundaries tend to be found under the sea, like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Here, chains of underwater volcanoes have formed along the plate boundary. It looks rather like a mountain range, actually. One of these volcanoes may become so large that it erupts out of the sea to form a volcanic island. At a destructive boundary, the plates move towards each other. The friction causes earthquakes, and magma can rise through cracks in the crust, causing a volcanic eruption. 